Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Falk meeting. How are you all doing today? Hope you all are doing great. And uh, hope you can see the screen. Welcome to July 10th Falk general meeting. We are going to start with the introduction, uh, past and future shows, announcements, members' achievements, which we have a lot to share. Um, Artist of the month, uh, which sadly we don't have today. And I'll be giving you guys motivational speech on that. And then a financial report and then demo from a demo artist. Don't mute. <laughs> okay. So let's start, let's start with the shows and shows to enter. Color Pencil Society of America, District Chapter 210, San Jose. That is uh, sharing their annual show exploration. Uh, one sec. Exploration in Color Pencil 11 is open for entry submissions. Uh, details are given in the website, in the newsletter. So check that out. And if, if you are uh, doing Color Pencil, please go ahead and uh, submit your artwork there. Uh, there is another show greater in the Greater Bay, Bay Area, uh, GBAO Association, Los Gatos Art Association. Uh, they have the jury competition and exhibition. Uh, the date is November 17th through March 9th. Entry deadline is Friday, October 20th. Go, go ahead and uh, check that out. All the informations are for all the competitions. All the informations are given in the newsletter as well as online newsletter. Also, it is there um, with the links. California State uh, Fine Arts Competition Show. That's already that's already done. The submissions are uh, done, um, and the winners we will announce. Falk Fall Fest show is coming up September 9th. So mark your dates, uh, mark your calendars. September 9th, we have two day show this time. And it is going to be a big show because uh, previous day, there is going to be gala event for the city officials and uh, dignitaries. And uh, on the next day, there will be uh, lots of uh, just like every year, there will be lots of uh, things happening in the show. Uh, Is it me? Yeah. Turn it off. <laughs> okay. Uh, the details of the Fall Fest, I will be announcing it shortly. Uh, it will be in the... Um, newsletter as well as I will be putting it in the artist messenger group, the announcement group. Um, then there is a 40 year milestone HAC juried exhibition. The exhibition is on, registration is closed. The, the winners are going to be announced shortly. And um, um, so look out for that. These are the flyers for that. Next, uh, another competition is uh, uh, 15th annual open art competition, the UART open competition. Uh, that is for high school emerging artists as well as the as well as all the rest of the artists, established artists, uh, and uh, that is also uh, going to be the due due date is coming very soon. So if you haven't uh, checked that out, please do so. Uh, now we'll go to the uh, next announcement. The Falk YouTube channel is al already up to date uh, with all the demos. So check that out. Falk website is updated. Um, if you ha haven't put the, your gallery page, do it before the September show so that people can check your work out. 
um palk is on instagram as well we have um uh, every time every month we have artist of the month uh this month's winner is anu valtena anu are you are you there i think so i think so not she has won for the beach theme and uh, uh, it was unanim unanimous vote for her work. So um, congratulations, Sanu. There are always beautiful entries. So if you are not putting your entries, try to, uh, I encourage you guys to put your entries. It's, it's a wonderful um, show when all the entries come together. It, it looks really beautiful. Uh, topic, topic of the July is summer. Uh, you can use uh, hashtag Falk Summer July 2023 for the July month Instagram post. Sorry, for the glitch of May month. Uh, next is uh, members achievement. Uh, we have those rabbits ready and uh, they, they are already uh, on display. Uh, Sarabji's rabbit is on display. Kalpna, Kalpna's rabbit is on display as well, right? Kalpna? Oh, fantastic. So Kalpna's uh, rabbit is also on display. And uh, I haven't shared until now my rabbit design. So this is the rabbit design, which is going to be in display in Fall Fest. So um, it's already... Uh, done and varnished and ready to be displayed. Um, next is Denise. Denise, would you like to announce it? I don't know if I can remember it. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the uh, Salon at the Triton uh, statewide 2D competition, I got third place in drawing. <laughs> And at the State Fair uh, show, the California Fine Art that's held in Sacramento, um, and I had uh, two pieces that got in and won one an award of excellence, and which comes with $250. Yay! And, and the other one won uh, an award of merit, which comes with $50. Fantastic. So I, I think that's everything. <laughs> um, Congratulations. Uh, coming up uh, this weekend, I'm, I'm participating in the Art Under the Oaks. It's a two-day festival. It, at Alden Lane Nursery in uh, in Livermore, they have it under big oak trees, so it's going to be 100 degrees. What can you do? Uh, but uh, I, I haven't been in this uh, one before, so we'll, we'll see what that's like. So if you want to see a bunch of my artwork here, this is your last chance this year, because it's the last festival I'm doing this year. <laughs> okay, uh, so could you share that information with us in the... Sure. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. oh, good. <laughs> Um, then Hadi's uh, uh, work was also in display uh, in the Triton Museum of Show, the saloon at Triton, and um, sorry, and Hadi's uh, three other works are in um, figurative and portrait pieces are in out of the box exhibition. And uh, one piece is, piece is in uh, San Jose Gallery. Check that out if you haven't gone there. Uh, then there is another big achievement from uh, for, for uh, Tiffany. So Serenity won first place in uh, drawing category at Saloon at the Triton. And um, congratulations, Tiffany. Uh, Ranjini's uh, work is one work is in uh, one color pencil work and oil work is in Al Alameda County Fair and her acrylic work is juried in for 31st International Show in Park Lane Gallery in uh, WA. Tiffany's I have already shared. Um, uh, I think so. Priya has sent her uh, information a little late, but Priya, if you are there, could you could you share your information, please? Uh, 
I think Priya is not there. Okay. So uh, do we have during an artist? I don't think so. Okay. We don't have artist of the month and now my speech comes. <laughs> Whoever is not uh, participating in artist of the month, if we have just few entries, it we cannot do artist of the month in just two, three entries. So I insist and request all of the artists to participate in artist of the month. It is, it is uh, our challenge to come up with a new work every month and uh, basically we will be ready for the fall fest show if we keep on participating in artist of the month so please uh, do so and next time i want uh, more entries than three entries this time it was just three entries so we could not do it uh, so uh, at least uh, this year yeah, if you are new, we haven't seen your work anyways. So you can put, <laughs> you can you can put old one too, but uh, at least last five years, I would say. I have a comment. I think, yes. I think the framing requirement is- a bit Is the must, yes, yes. Uh, well, yeah, I, I understand it's a must, but it's also a hurdle because you can't always get things framed in time. And um, it's- At least it should be matted. Yes. So if it is if it is not um, uh, ready with the frame, at least it should be matted. That's so that's that be, happens all at once though. And, and I don't work in standard sizes, so I can't just slap a nine by twelve. I don't do nine by twelve, and therefore it's eleven by fourteen. Kind of thing. I work in whatever <laughs> size is appropriate. So I'm just saying that that's the, the the framing requirement is a hurdle. It's a hurdle. Okay, we will consider it, and we will talk about it, and see if we come up with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we will we will discuss this uh, matter and uh, we'll see if if we could we could uh, have some exceptions as well so um okay that goes with the artist of the month now financial report is current balance bank balance is uh, 20643 and 35 in the bank and uh, in the paypal 1506 and 40 cents uh, we uh, get good amount from panel rental uh, this weekend was also we got a one check uh, there are three more bookings already done for the panel rental so uh, we uh, kind of get good amount from panel rental, keep on spreading the words that panels are for renting. And uh, we will uh, definitely be ready for the Fall Fest show to have a good party. And if they do want to rent, they should contact you? Yes. Okay. Uh, this this uh, week uh, panel was rented from Falk member one of the Falk member. She had a show and she rented the panels and she did, uh, delivered the panel back. Okay. So now- So it's not, it's not free for Falk members? Huh? It's yeah. not free for Falk member, but reduced rate for Falk members. Oh, yeah. Reduced rate for uh, Falk okay. members, oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> For SVOS also, when we all rented the, we I also rented the panels. So we all rented the panels and we, but it's a reduced rate. Yeah. So it becomes easier for us. Okay. Uh, now let's not further delay the demo. Our demo artist is Tejal Shah. Tejal Shah is a mixed media artist from uh, San Francisco. And uh, she paints, 
from her soul and dances like no one is watching. Uh, dancing is her hobby. She is an art educator and artist. She enjoys using various mediums and colors in her artwork. Nature's colors are her source of inspiration. Her paintings are a collection of realism, impress impressionism, and abstract art. Her passion for art uh, originated from her grandmother, who was her first art teacher. Tejal enjoys painting on small and large surfaces. Her favorite subjects are flowers and fruits using acrylic paints. The details on uh, Mother Nature's creations are breathtaking and she enjoys bringing it on canvas. She has always been passionate about art, creativity, painting, etc. She finds art to be meditative, divine, inspiring, peaceful, and a happy place for her to be in. Art is a lifestyle of her and uh, it has consistently preserved calmness and a certain fulfillment feeling in her soul. Uh, I need to tell this that I found Tejal from Instagram. So if you happen to come up uh, with uh, any artist who is fascinating, please provide me the artist name and I will contact the artist and bring it here. So uh, uh, let's let's uh, turn it over to Tejal. Uh, no, we will be pinpointing it there. Uh, playing with different medium, but today I'm going to show you acrylic flower painting. I've chosen this uh, purple tulip, and uh, I'll go with the process now. This is this is what I'm gonna paint. So let me talk about the photo and how I got this, uh, you know, uh, picture. I recently visited uh, Boston, and Boston has a public garden. Um, the tulips bloom during. Can you put? It? Towards her face. Yes. Towards her face. Yeah. Temporarily or temporary. Temporary. I can hold it in my hand. Yes. Okay. Sorry for that. Or maybe you can just point at the mirror. But they were all saying that it comes reverse. Oh, for the time being. Yeah. Oh. Hello, everyone. So I'll be showing you this acrylic painting. It's a purple tulip. And I got inspiration from uh, Boston's Public Garden. I visited recently uh, in a May, and uh, during the season, beautiful uh, tulips are uh, blooming over there. So I capture a few photos, and my, this is my reference photo. Mm -hmm. But as you all know, we can make some changes in the reference photo and paint. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. So this is how I come up with. So that's our you know, uh, sample painting today. So I'll just start with the process. Uh, okay, first of all, um, I just drew the uh, line drawing. And usually, you know, in a small canvas, I can directly freehand draw this, but in a larger, uh, on a larger surface, I like to trace because the proportion and everything needs to be perfect. So um, I get the printout, like a blue printout, the larger copy and trace it on the bigger canvas. First thing I do is take a look at the photos on the end, uh, picture uh, photo and then make the color scale. So let's see here. You can uh, check out, I'll tell you what colors I have used. Now, should I just do it here? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. So, I transfer yeah. over here. So I have, uh, I have used dark sign purple, then deep violet, and I've mixed them and this is the combination I'm getting when mixing dark sand purple as well as deep violet and then conacridone violet. Um, 
Then, of course, green and yellow for the stem and the bottom part of the tulip. Can everyone see okay? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, the part of the process, what I do, I turn the uh, painting or the photo in a black and white in the phone filter where you see mono and, you know, silver tone and that. So I turn that and get the black and white combination, uh, combination of picture and paint my flower in a black and white tone. Usually we like to uh, prime the canvas with either muted uh, colors or a, um, orange colors uh, background or with a gesso. But for the flower specifically, I love to do this technique because while you do this, you get an idea when you are going to put the darker value, medium value and the lightest value kind of helps me while I go on the with the colors rather than directly paint with the colors. That's just the way it works for me. Everybody has their own technique, but I find this more easier uh, versus just doing directly with the colors. So let's get started. So I already have this black and white and you can see, let me just focus one more time here, my sample painting and the black and white combination. And for the background, I have used pale olive colors. Um, and it's for Winsor and Newton. So I have uh, not really specific uh, preference for the brand, but most of the time I use either Golden or Winsor Newton. They are the, you know, or maybe liquid text if I find a really good shade and I just want to use directly from the tube, not mix my color, then liquid text also a good option. And also one important with the thing with the flower painting, the blending. This is a must have thing, acrylic, glazing liquid. This helps you blend your acrylic like an oil. And I, I think you must have experience working acryl with acrylic is very difficult when you especially want to blend. So this is the magic formula. I, I love this golden thing and it does a magic. So let's get started. Does, does it slow down the drying time as absolutely, well? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. By how much would you say? Oh, um, uh, 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 half an hour or half an hour? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's pretty significant. Yeah. 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 Very important on larger surfaces. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. And of course, another thing is it, it makes your uh, uh, paint thinner, transparent. So the glazing layer, that technique works really well. So you will see once I come to the finishing point, all this, you know, veins and curves, you see that comes with the uh, medium. And that's that's the key with the acrylic thing. So let's start. I'm going to use my deep violet first and try to paint. I'm going to mix my deep violet as well as my purple, uh, the accent purple. They're all uh, uh, golden. Brand, those not everything, not yeah. everything. Uh, so yeah, so uh, deep violet I'm using from Liquitex Basic. This one, a brand from Jerry's Adriana called Soho. I'm using that scent purple. These are like cost effective paints and they're really good quality as well. So, and golden I use like a white from golden. They are expensive. Yeah, <laughs> golden is expensive but for sure. Very really good quality. They don't pay that much yeah, yeah, and with some of your towers, you have to buy gold in. Right, yeah, but it's so expensive. After this pandemic, it's more, even more expensive. I agree with you. I agree with you. Supplies getting expensive. That's right. So in between, you can see I'm using. Those are gorgeous purple. Yeah. So was it dry before you started this one, or is it was it still wet? It was. It was, it was, was dry. It was dry. Yeah, yeah. Dry. I just reprepared it because it's going to take longer. Mm -hmm. So you always uh, look for when you study first. Yes. Yes. And this is very helpful. You know, you just lay down your color and try to mix with everything, and that will give you an idea how it will look on mm -hmm. actual surface. And now that I have here the darker area, I'm just going with the dark purple. Since you have it on your brush? No, because I saw it's there was a darker area on my original painting. Okay. So I'm 
So this is again just a blocking with my colors. We are coming back with another layer to give more specific details on it. I don't see a need to wash my brush at this point because you can see all colors are overlapping each other. So it's okay to have one in another. Michael is saying they can't see the live video. They cannot I can. see the live video. I can see it. Can somebody else check it? Could we are on the same one. Maybe they have a slow internet connection. Mm, yeah, that's quite common. Now, that's Michael. Michael. Camera setting. Um. Huh? No, Michael had a. No, so. Yeah. Or is it just because it's not been spot like that? I'm going to leave and then going again. It's spot. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's not going away when we talk. This one, adjust the light. Right. So that's only when you're recording it. I'm not sure whether it's Zoom or not. Let me check. Do you have any of the glazing liquid mixed in there already? No, it's it the yeah. comes later. Yeah, yeah it's side by side. Yeah, yeah, just pick up from here. I didn't put it there. Yeah. So to make my uh, water a little bit darker, I prefer to have my graphite flat. A little bit more dark. So you. Don't add any like is it a black? It's graphite black, yeah. I add a little bit. Too. Yeah, perfect. Talking actually makes it easier, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Because I already know now, you know, where darker darker value is going to be, where the medium value is. So it's quite easy to block first in a black and white. Yeah. And you we are going to prime it right. So I feel this technique is little bit helping me to go with the colors faster. Um, so now this is looking almost safe. So I need to add more color variation. Mm -hmm. This is looking right now really choppy, but that's okay. That's how it's going to be. What is that called? The liquid in what? This one? Yeah. That's called acrylic glazing liquid. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go one more time in the beach area to pick up the smooth surface. It's not tacky when you're going back on it. No. That means it didn't dry up. No. I 
and you're using the stay wet palette, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because like if you're going to work tomorrow also, it helps, right? Yeah, because you don't want the colors to dry up. Yeah. yeah. You're not using water to wash your brush, just wiping. Yeah, for now, because I don't want water to get mixed with glazing and water, it's messed up, it gets tacky. I guess that stay wet palette really makes a difference because for the amount of time that that paint's been sitting there, I would expect it to have a crust over it all the time. I put it there yesterday night. Uh, well, yeah, no. to get ready for today. It's there. It has no skin over it. It's going to stay like this for a week. I think. That's awesome. That's really good. And in between, you just have to spray this. It can be moist. That's and really that's good. just water. Yeah, that's just water. So now you can see this. It's mm. better than before. Yes, the white is. It's, it's yeah, I, I haven't even added white, but just giving like a smooth, feathery oh, touch to the tank surface. It gives you really so smooth texture. And uh, you can see in between, I'm getting the brush marks. That's because it's still wet. I need to let it sit and work on other area. When I come back, it's going to get a little bit dry and I can work on top of it. So now I'm going to use my. So for using white, I'm using this another technique like a flicking. You put your brush and flick like this. And it's purple because my brush is not clean. So we just go back. Now I'm moving to green, meanwhile. What's special about this one? It doesn't dry it. Yeah, that's what I was asking. This, this is, is water this is a, No, this is a sponge. sponge. Oh, so it wow. seeps through that. Yeah. 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 Can you see? Yeah, it's a master. Yeah, it's a brand. Yeah. I just want to take a picture. Yeah, this one. Yeah, that's There's other needs too. So we'll come back to each area again. This is not my final thing, just so you know, because I know it doesn't look so no, then fine. It's still choppy, but that's okay. This is how it's going to be at this stage. What brushes are these? These are, <laughs> these are no, yeah, this is filbert. Yeah, okay. most of the uh, I like to use flat and filbert for mixing and all that for lines uh, uh, flat. So now I'm going to address the center of this using um, this is conacodum violet from Windsor and.
So you are using the glazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can really feel it when you mix it. It it gives you that you know liberty to blend it so smoothly like oil. Huh. And this color is so beautiful. You can see how you know when you add your medium. <laughs> Gives a really nice transfer. You can still see the purple underneath, and you know how each color is working together. So I would like work around four or five times in a layer because you have to wait after some time. So the glazing dries up transparent or is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's why. You... So you will also see shine like the varnish. Mm -hmm. Up to 16 hours. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, it's eight hours. Sorry, it's thirty three dollars. No, 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 no. This is not thirty three dollars. Maybe sixteen. Hours. Maybe when you bought it, but now it's <laughs> <laughs> right. It'll last a really long time. Oh, she's talking about the tube. No, but you say you have to sixteen hours. Yes, yeah, yeah. Eight hours. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a sixteen so or eight. Eight. Yeah. Well, eight. Oh, eight. Okay, so that's a twelve dollars. So sure, it's not bad. Oh yeah. oh yeah, the the paintings are not free or cheap. They cost a lot of money too. <laughs> so you add it to the, the cost of the painting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah like black. Purpleless. Yeah. yeah. Because. If it's wet, then it will pick up your paint, see? Mm -hmm. So you gotta wait. <laughs> so do you work on a couple of pieces at the same time? So you move it? Yes, yes. But that's, that's so funny. That's the sentence you never think you would hear associated with acrylic painting, that you need to wait and let it dry. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, it's the other way around. The challenge is to keep it wet and quickly work. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's a flat brush. I think the bigger one. Just maybe some minor work. Oh, right. That's for the You're putting a little pressure to spread it, or? To pressure to what? That the putting the pressure there to no. spread it? No, okay, it's just straight line. Not right. change, just touch it. Otherwise, it'll be thick.
I'm wondering, uh, you don't have your reference photograph close by. Do you have? Yeah, I, I, I did when I was painting. Okay, so now yeah, so yeah, that's why that so I that's don't know the reference. Yes. New reference, yeah. Yes. <laughs> because then I, I made so much changes here mm -hmm. while doing it here. So right now I'm not looking at this. This yeah. is the one that's happening. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see the lighting is different on. Yes. So while I blend, you can see I'm hardly touching the surface, just keeping it like a feathery touch. The way we do it, like in any other blend, you have to make it oil. Same technique here. It's a short and stiff brush. Yeah. Huh? What did she say? So we have to tell her to, huh? we are, to copy, copy and paste. paste. Yeah. If Anesthesia. You want to put it in the group? Copy and paste. Copy and paste the link to this point. But then it tells me for a password or something. So I tried when I came. So just click on it. The full link has the password embedded in it. Yeah, I, I put that in. Yeah, copy the link, paste on Safari, and try again. Yeah, so she needs to make sure she copies the whole link because that contains the password. If it's the whole link. Mm -hmm. Those songs coming. Hold on. Huh? Low battery on this one, huh? Okay, so hang on. Charger? Yes. IPhone? iPhone, yeah. <laughs> what do you know? Extension for 
have a problem with that. Very close, what does it say? Um, yeah, it's charging. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's charging right now. I presume when you're working on a bigger piece, like your big floral pieces, you use bigger brushes? Yeah. Yeah. Like one inch, yeah, three fourths. Yeah. Oh. Yes. So I feel it is the uh, my canvas. So I need to go with one more layer because if I use this too much, it gets thinner. So I mean, if I use the medium too much, uh, the paint goes thinner. She can hear. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming to her. Let me double check one second. Yeah. You can hear my voice. Can you give a thumbs up if you hear my voice? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. It's cool how quickly it's developing. Yeah. Just a short amount of time. It takes a tiny little touch for that glazing medium, huh? Yes. That's white or glazing? It's white. Okay. With the glazing. With the because you want like just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But it's too much, so I'm going to go back in. You just have to go back and forth until you get the desired, you know, uh, values. Second layer. I wish that glazing looked like it's been around decades ago when I was learning. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I wouldn't have given up on acrylic. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was always really so frustrated. Oh, that is frustrating. You can't do anything. anything. I'll put it dry. They also make a, uh, or Golden does anyway. Uh, they make, what? They make a, a medium or a liquid that's specifically to retard the. Yeah, yeah retard the retard the retard yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so how is? Have you tried that? Is that how is yeah, that? Yeah, somehow it didn't work for me. I didn't like it. Huh. So this is better. I don't know what's the difference, but. Um, yeah, I've tried oh. that as well. Oh. Maybe technique might work in something, not in other things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I think it's it's made so it doesn't it doesn't thin the paint, whereas the glazing medium would obviously be about making it more transparent because Plus, that's what a glaze is, glaze, like right. a transparent I mean, yeah. glaze. glaze oh. yeah. <clears throat> so I think. I think, I think it's the is yeah. for like a the palette painting, like a 3D thickening. No, like no, 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 not the, not the stuff I'm talking about. It's oh. just it's specifically just to slow down the drying over time. That's true. That's all it's for.
let us know if you uh, any of you have questions you can answer this And the downside of being online is that we ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cloth that you used to wipe. Is that a cloth or a paper? It's a paper and a piece of shop. Yeah. 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 And the best one for our home depot has these. Anyone cost shop cloth? Shop cloth. Yes. Yeah. Shop cloth. Yeah. It gives you a cloth feeling. Yeah. Brownie and all those other things. Yeah. Paper towels, but they feel like cloth. Yeah. yeah. Pick up. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Clean up. They are so good for cleanups. <laughs> yeah. You can wipe grease. You can do anything you want. Oh, yes. There was a shortage of yeah. 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 <laughs> My husband was looking everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. like a cloth. It's thicker than your paper towel. Thicker. Yeah. That's what I found. And softer too. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> They're very durable. They don't fall apart really yeah. well. Yeah. Picks up a lot of liquid. No. I think that you think that things started the one on this. <laughs> so I think I'm already liking it. It's getting better, but I need a few more layers. It's amazing you've come so far in oh, such a short time. Because it's a small, but things like that, uh, like a big flower, mm. it takes months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you have to let it dry. You can't just yeah. keep putting more and more and more layers. Yeah. And then at one point you feel, do you really want to stop it? Because you can't stop it. You keep looking at little details and work on that. <laughs> oh, what am, what am, I mean, you can relate to it, right? It becomes a medium, even a color pencil, oh, yeah. watercolor. <laughs> You almost kill it. Yeah. <laughs> the big ones have a huge range of value change. Yeah. Right. That's that's kind of hard. So are the photographs part. taken that way, or you do that manipulation of the? No, the photograph taken that play, uh, way, and I did some manipulations. Yeah. yeah. Boy, there's yeah. so many. And, and the Prada tulip that you saw, that one got the best of show in uh, Alameda County Fair. At the same time, during the pandemic. Santa Clara County Health Department. They used that to give us a thank you card to help you know, to the whole health oh, department. Wow. So nice. this one the other range of awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so check her website out. Uh, she has lovely resin artwork as well. Would I love to actually see how many people the resin on top of that board? It's a board with, with resin or it is a no, no, with resin. With resin. I'd like to learn that. No, they selected the piece for the grand prize. My like surfboard. I don't know if you have seen the picture. I have, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I was trying to think where have I seen that. Yeah. yeah. So that um, strawberry is the acrylic oil. Oil. Okay. Yeah, that's oil. The color is different, you know, than yeah. Shine. It's pretty. You can color. feel the shine. Yeah. That's oil. Huh? Yeah, that's oil. When I saw the sweet flowers. I appreciate it. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. And thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity to share what I have with you all. <laughs> so you can see um, I'm going on the one area multiple times and uh, that's what the process is. Pushing and pulling with the values. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a micro contrast with, with colors and that, that area doesn't have a lot of value range, but it just, uh, the colors which are getting mixed up. So. Yes. <laughs> because in photo, you just need one color. One, that's yeah. 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 
and also like the uh, after while painting a flower and doing the flower study, you might have also experienced that most of the colors you see on the petal also depending on the environment it is surrounded. The reflection of the things you know uh, from the surrounding area helps to see different colors in the flower. And especially with the white flowers, if you experience that, how do you paint the white? You need to see the different color that is coming on the white from the surrounding area. And that's how you, you know, bring the color yeah. um, uh, on the flower with the white flower. Yeah. Actually, white is most challenging one to paint, you know? To draw too. Yeah. <laughs> So do you do only the glass and do you do uh, written? No, just a flowers through landscape. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love European landscapes, like oh, colorful yeah. houses and buildings, like a Venice and, you know, Florence, how they have their typical uh, houses and the streets. The texture on the wall is just, just mm -hmm. great. <laughs> the stucco walls are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The Paris and the streets are one of my two least paintings. <laughs> this is oil. No, that is a crawl. Okay, Oh, Tejo, question for you. So when you change your reference photograph the way you want to paint that one, do you happen to change the, the direction of the light as well? Yeah, depending on the, you know, the layout that I select. Mm -hmm. um, also, you know, I also look at some other photos that I've taken with it, okay. where I can see, you know, if the flower is facing right to me, then it is layered with the multiple uh, petals. The petal behind it, gives the overlapping to the petal front and that way 
this area you see, which is darker. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, you know, do a little bit exercise with looking at different, different photos and then, you know, make up with the you know, current painting. Yeah, because it's more interesting to see the inside than to see the back of another petal. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm just wondering uh, how she's going to interpret the, the backlit. Um... See, I haven't taken this. Yes. Right? So yes. If, if we have this thing mm -hmm. and the light is right now just in the front and it's not making much interesting uh, layout for me. Yeah. Composition, yeah. yes, that's right. So, you know, I've also taken many other photographs and I've seen, okay, these are the way it can go. So, but you pick the color scheme probably first. Yes, and then I also, you know, try to see which are the other uh, family colors that I go along with it. And this one is a really useful yeah. that I kind of mix it with the purple and the violet together. Gives me this, and to give a light. I use conacodum violet, which is more brighter. If I use just these three, it's hard it's to get dull. that brightness. Mm -hmm, yeah. With the white also, I couldn't get it. So this one really helps. You can see how this area, this area kind of pops out using few layers of this conacodum violet. I think the same thing happens in color pencils, right? When you layer, you have to use something different to bring out more of mm -hmm. the color yeah. from behind. Yeah. Yes. It almost looked like a crocus, you know, but they are like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're using that plate to wipe off some of the color. Which one? This one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Plus, you can and see so, what shade. Yeah. yeah. Get back. It's also funny that the micro contrast is actually indicating what direction the pedal is actually bending or it's wilting towards rather. Yeah. yeah. Mm You paint only from your own references, or do you sometimes go online to get? I do. Yeah, yeah, I also use that. Yeah. And sometimes, the, you know, in Instagram, you find many photographers, and they're willing to share their photo for nothing. They're yeah. happy if you paint. So, so I take that about too. I think Facebook has some groups as well. Yeah, photo for artists. Yeah, and some also people. free reference photographs yeah. for artists. It's funny, I use it the reverse way. I go to the Facebook accounts and see how they paint it. And then I 
I go back, change my photographs. <laughs> So it's it's uh, it's everybody's mind went different. You know? it's, it's, it's interesting to see how. It Something's just catch your eyes. It could be anybody. Exactly, it could be anybody. It just catches your eye, yeah. and it's fun to copy that. <laughs> <laughs> see if you can do it. Yeah. So now I rest, give rest to this area and let it dry a little bit and then come back to work on the bottom layer of the tulip. Right now, I want to focus on this part. almost look like twins now. Mm. <laughs> did you develop your style and all on your own or did you also take some classes? I, I used to take the classes for oil painting. My mentor, uh, her name is Joanna Robinson. I'm not sure if she's been in the industry for a while, but now she's retired and all that. But I took uh, classes from her for the work. But this one, I just watched online YouTube and tried to, you know, learn myself. And with the experience, I, I kind of come up with this. And after like learning oil paint, I always, feel and curious, how do we get this texture with the acrylic? And then, you know, you just try and uh, work on it and practice, practice, practice.
when you use the glossing just now, did it pull the paint from other area or it just? Uh, no, it's sometimes if it's too much, it pulls the paint from the mm -hmm. same area. I keep seeing the uh, canvas and mm -hmm. it happens. Right. Yeah. So you have to wait in some time because glaz glazing again, extend your time. Mm -hmm. So you just have to see paint back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Or today I actually forgot to get the heater. Usually I keep it. So when it crosses, just use the heat. Not the heater, sorry. Oh, right. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it helps. We able to smooth out because it's extended the time for it to dry, right? Uh, which one? The blending. Yeah. It helps because the time for it to dry is a little longer than yeah. normal. Yeah. Otherwise, you go from one in area, an inch away, and you come back, it's gone already. Yes. So I will have to go to the background too uh, to make this uh, line, you know, perfect because I still see the rough sharp uh, lines. So you will do the background again? Yeah. Oh, wow. That probably got just one layer so far? This one, yeah, just one layer. But see how what I'm pointing out here is like things like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to focus on the thin line. Yeah. That separates the yeah. two buttons. Oh, it's a tiny brush. Splash the water. Now make it a water droplet. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> Quite a few uh, tulip farms in Central Valley. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty popular in spring. People go there. It's like some some place like Netherlands. Oh, yeah. I went to Amsterdam, and then we went and saw the tulip gardens, and yeah. it was breathtaking. Yeah. They yeah. are yeah. so beautiful. That's on my wish list. Yeah. 
one day. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to go that far right now. Central Valley is pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot the name, but I keep seeing on the Facebook yeah, they yeah. invite people to yeah, yeah. reserve. Farms. Yeah, yeah. You should come in. At Carlsbad, they have farms with the ranuncula flowers. Yeah, I've been to that. It's so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my God. And they have rows and rows of the same color of yeah. uh, flowers. And they grow it to harvest the roots for the next, for the next, the bulbs, just like tulips. Oh, yeah. You know summer. I just went recently, last month. It is just close to my home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's on my right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm yeah. doing a photo walk through the East Valley next week. Twenty like second. Mm -hmm. Those gone. Those poppy flowers are also pretty interesting. They grow close to, you know, public flower. They're interested in flowers. Yeah. That's the tricky part she's doing right now. Sometimes I also use my finger to blend the colors in a very tiny red mixture. It didn't do much on that because it's picking up the color for some reason. Um, Five more minutes. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I'm almost. I'm not almost done. I will be still working on this one more or two more layers. Um, but you can see it's close to the finishing. We can say ninety percent. Yeah. Show how I, you do the stemming. Yeah. Okay, that'll be great. Which the stem? Yeah. This yeah. One? yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll go. Yeah, that's getting tricky, but yes, I'll <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm I'm so <laughs> yeah, we can <laughs> probably <laughs> we can request uh, John <laughs> to give us five more minutes. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. Okay. So, Take out the brush and just dig it. And then I'm gonna come back with my green and go on top of it. And there is a little yellow that I had here. Yeah. <laughs> All the details, eh? Details matters. Yes. yes. Doing my best at the, the standard too.
So that's the best for now. No. I will still go on top of it to two more times because I still have to bring more brightness and it's wet. That's why it's not taking up the new white. It's just keep absorbing it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and got some new yeah, information learned, from me. Yeah, yeah, learned yeah. a lot. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I would love to be a part of the community here. Thanks for having me. Thank you, everybody. It's so encouraging to see all your interest and you know enthusiasm. I really enjoy this. I hope you guys yeah. like it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Tejal. Somebody needs to bump up the volume. Okay. I'll mute up here, Janki. Janki, I'm going to mute up here. You can turn on them. Okay. So, uh, thank you for joining everyone. And I hope everyone will be encouraged to participate in the Artist of the Month next year, next month. And looking forward for a lot of entries this time. Also start coming to Quinlan. Quinlan show is up. So I would highly recommend putting up our, our artwork in a display. Uh, one of the artists sold the work. So it is highly recommended to put artwork outside uh, for a display so that we can sell more. So uh, hopefully next month we'll have some more entries. See you all. Have a nice evening. And I'll stop recording here.